What can help you look up a word in the dictionary? The guide words. That's right, they're guide words. And they help us find words in the dictionary. Let's look up the word guide. How do you spell guide? Well, hmm, we have the to- The beginning is a G. Okay, so we aren't even in the Gs. Let's go to G. Guide is a little spelled a little funny actually. It's G U I D E. What are you looking at there, Scarlett? I'm looking at the guide words. How are you using the guide words? Ooh, what do you see there? A U. Okay, a U that comes after the G. Ooh, look at the other guide word. So guava and guitar. What do those guide words tell you? So these guide words, the way they work is this is the first word on this page. Guava, right there. And guitar is the last word on this page. Here's a picture of one, an electric guitar. And what we have to do is just go down the column until we find the word we're looking for. After we find the page that it's going to be on. And we use the guide words to find what page it's going to be on. So, the words that are on this page are going to fall between guava and guitar, and alphabetically. An I, and the next letter is an I. Right. So, so it can be. Okay, because T comes after D. You found it. Excellent. This is how you play this game. So, each one of these is a different page. And these are the guide words. First of all, are they in order? Is this how the pages would go? No, because look, we have P-A and here's P-E. Now, what we do is we take one of these words and we decide which page which set of guide words this word would fall on. So which page would peach go on? Would we find the word peach on this page? Mm. No, why not? Because of the A. Well, this has an A in it. It is the A. The A comes before E, right? So P E would come after this word, right? Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Would peach could peach be found on this page? Hmm. I don't think so. No? Well here's P E A and this has P E A. When you have extra letters, that means it comes after something. So P-E-A would come before P-E-A-C-H. So this would come after that. Would this come before this? P-E-A-R, P-E-A-C. Does C come before R? Yes, yep. So this word would go on this page. So we're gonna put this word right there. Oh, okay. Why? Because of P E E P E E. Uh huh. And does and K come before P? Yeah. It does. So. P E. Well, P-E-C comes before P-E-E, -E, right? Because C comes before E. So that means that peak would be between pecan and peep. So this is the page for peak. How about this word, pedal? 
thing. Or I think it's in here because P E P E D is Guess it wouldn't be. No, you're right. This word does come on this page because P E D would come after P E C because D comes after C. And P E D, the D would come at, uh, before this E, right? This E would come after this D. So pedal belongs on this page. So now we have two words on this page. I think this would go in here because P P A Y P A Y M. It's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. No, you're actually right. You're perfectly right. Because whenever you have extra letters, I just said this, though that word, so this word comes after this one, okay? If it's shorter or simpler, it comes before the longer word. So this word belongs on this page. Okay, so now we have at least one word per page. What's the next word? Now that you understand how to play this game, I have another version that you can do at home. The way it works is you have this piece of paper that was sent home and it has words that begin with W and this would be a page with these two guide words on it. Here's another page with these two guide words, and the third page has these two guide words. But why are they the all top. A's? Well, they just are. So these might be consecutive pages, which means you have, uh, this would be like one page, and this would be the very next page in the dictionary. And what you need to do is take this piece of paper and cut out all of the words. And then you would take each word and look to see which page it belongs on. And that's how you play the game. You can then um, put, uh, make your list of words that belong on that page. Read each word out loud to yourself. And after you've combined all the words that go on a page, then put those words into alphabetical order move them and actually write the word on your papers. Write your name on the top and bring the paper back to school. Bye. No, he's not saying bye. He, he's raising his hand. Oh, do you have a question, Froggy? Um, I'm pretty sure my name wouldn't be on this paper. Uh, well, guess what is on this paper? W's and my name begins in a G. Uh-huh. Look at what word is on these papers. Wart. Wart. What a wart. A wart? Do frogs give people warts? I guess so. <laughs>